Right, welcome back to another video of CCNP security. So in the last video we have assigned the IP address to our FTD, but my FTD is not able to access, uh, able to reach to this management zone, neither this uh, 10.1.20 subnet, or neither it is reachable to this uh, loopbacks on my server. So in this video I'm going to do the routing, and in the ISP, to the, towards the ISP, it should be a default gateway. So we are going to configure the default gateway, we are going to configure this uh, route for the static route for this one management zone. This is for the inside zone 10.1.2.0 network. And we are going to configure this one for the loopback routes for the loopbacks. So first I will configure the default gateway. So I will go to my FMC and I will edit on my FTD. And I will go to routing. Right, so whenever you click on routing, it will take some time. So just give it time. I will click on static route. So don't worry about that OSPF and BGP for now. Just focus on the static route. Click on add route. And I'm saying that I want to create a default route outside. So I will select the outside interface. And I will set the, select that any IPv4. But I don't have any object for my default gateway. So I will go ahead and I will create here. And I will say that uh, it's a default gateway and my that is a host that's not a network. So what I will do, I will assign an IP address 7.1. Click Save. So this is the object has been created, host object, and it will be selected here. And click on Save. OK. And now you got a default route, number one. This one is done. Now I want to create a route for my management and this one. So what I will do, I will click on add route and this one will be for inside route. And now instead of having two different, so this is one subnet and this is one subnet. In FTD you have something called object. So you will make use of those objects multiple over here. So first I will go ahead and I will say that management object. I will say that management zone and I will give a network and I will say that 172.0.0.1.1.0 slash 24 click on save. Similarly, I will create one more object that is for the inside one. And I will select a network. It's 10.1.2.0 slash 24 and click on save. And now I will select both of those here. Click on refresh and you will have the INS as well as you will have the another one which I created management zone. So no need to provide two different uh, rows for it. So you can select in one only. So this is the benefit of that one. So now next hop. My next hop is E0 slash 2 that is 10.1.1.2.1. So I have to create an object for that one. So there will be a number of objects in the organization to do not to you should not be confused. So you make an object given name. So I will say that ER E02. If I go back to my topology E0 slash 2. So that by that way, I can understand that, okay, this is the host IP object with the IP address of 10.1.1 and click on save. And now I will select, it has been automatically selected. If you like, you can just go to drop down menu and select multiple here, different one and click on okay. So similarly, I have done for this one. So similarly, I will do it for these server loopbacks also. That is 100.1.1.1 and 200.1.1. So I will go ahead and I will say that add route on DMG. And I will say that uh, create an object for that one. First, I will say that server one. And I will say a network of 100.1.1.1 slash 0, 24. And I will say that one more. That is server two. And I will click on network and it is 200.1.1.0 slash 24. Now, I do have these two objects. If you want to make a group of this object, you can do it, but not from here. From the, I will cancel this one. And I will save this one first before going to any other tab. I will go to my object here. Click on object management. You can see here on the networks, you will find all the objects you have created. So I have created server one and server two. I will create a group for it. 
So click on run the add network, add group. And I will give a name as servers. And I will select both of them. Save. And now my server group has been created. Now I instead of selecting two of them, I will can select one. So I will go to my device, device management again. And I will edit it on my FTD. Go to routing. Static routes. At this time I will click on add routes. I will say that on DMZ. And now this time I will select servers. This is a group that includes both of them. And the next gateway, it's 20.1.1.3. So I don't have any object for that one. I will go ahead and I will create an object for it. I will say that uh, SRV, sorry, SR1 interface is E0 slash 0. And the IP address is 20.1.1.3 and save. So the created object will be selected automatically here. So click on OK. And now I will deploy this one. Click on save first. I got all the three routes over here. Inside, outside and DMZ. Click on deploy, deployment. Expand, you can see that static route policy. And deploy. All right, so deployment has been completed. So what I will do, I will go back to my FTD. Okay, this is my FTD. And I will say that ping outside first, 150.1.7.1. It is pinging. And ping 100.1.1.1, it should be on DMZ, pinging. Ping 200.1.1, it should ping on the DMZ. So 200.1.1, I don't think so, it's been created. So I'll go ahead to my SR1 and I will say that do show IP interface brief. You can see that it's only one. So I will say that look back one IP address will be 200.1.1, 250. 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. Save. And now this time it should ping now. Right, it's ping. Now coming to the inside network. So I will ping that uh, 10.1.2.1 to this interface only. I'm not going to ping the PCs for now. And I will ping my FMC to confirm this one. So I will say that uh, ping 10.1.2.1. It, it is pinging and ping 172.1. 1.1.2, it is pinging. So now you may ask that our management is already been attached, so why I have given the route for the management. So my according to my topology, everything, all the traffic is coming to this interface, and from here it is going to the outside. So if the inside interface does not have the route for this one, it is not able to forward the traffic to this management as well as for the 10.1.2.0 network. So that's the reason I have configured the static routes in this one. So that's all for this uh, in this video. See you in the next video.